Hello people and welcome back to Dubious Engineering. My goodness, check it out. I have built, I'm very happy to say, a handheld game console made out of African hardwood sent to me by my good friend Rory all the way from Glasgow. Thank you very much Rory. Hand milled on my router over here in this little corner. Parts generally donated, or at least the electronics, by uh, modmypie.com. Um, brass bullet buttons donated kindly by uh, someone's father from work. Um, yeah, this thing is awesome. And Mrs. Dubious played it for a couple of hours last night. It's all battery powered. Uh, inside of it, this is um, a lithium ion pack from uh, a, an iPad. Uh, over here there's a little charge circuit so you plug a little uh, micro USB in here and it just manages all of the battery charging and all that kind of stuff. Um, in fact you might want to know a bit more about it so go ahead let's just zoom in on this for you. So what have we got in here then? Well we've got a couple of speakers up here in the corners and there's an audio amp driving those speakers. That audio amp is connected to a power supply. This power supply is a 5 volt power supply and this power supply is also connected to the Raspberry Pi, which is stacked into the uh, screen, the display here. Uh, both the Pi and the screen were very kindly donated by modmypi.com. We also have um, a controller here, which is the guts of a handheld controller that I've wired into various little micro switches uh, uh, inside here, which are then connected to those bullet buttons that you saw. Um, and then on the front of it is the obligatory missile switch. Let's fire this bad boy up. Retro pie, exactly what you want to see. Chuka, 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 chuka. Woo -hoo -hoo. Come on. So an idea of some of the emulators on here then. Uh, we've got Game Boy Advance, Super Nintendo, uh, regular Nintendo, Nintendo 64, uh, Mega Drive, the Sega Master System, and MAME as well. Mrs. Loves Mame. Tumble Pop is her favourite game at the minute. Um, I'm going to go with Game Boy Advance, and our first test game is going to be Metal Slug. Metal Slug, yeah, let's go there. So, just bear with us a second. Do, 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 do. Right, Metal Slug. Let's start this bad boy up and see what happens. Sorry about the noise of the dog and the chainsaw in the background. It's normally what happens in my area. died but as you can see it's quite playable this is awesome and you know what if you don't want to play anymore missile switch all right I'm unwilling to admit it but I've made a mistake the buttons aren't very positive at all they're all a bit mushy and a bit squishy and it doesn't feel right so I've come up with a much better idea what I found um, are some little micro switches which I've been able to hot glue into the bullet casing. So, hopefully, if the uh, whoops, whoops. so hopefully you can hear this. You can probably also hear lots of cars. Yep, so I'm in the uh, process now of um, reworking all of these switches. So here we go. Yeah, that's a very positive sound feels very positive, it's got much more back force on the spring. Guts are hanging out.
me. So, uh, starting to do a little bit of wiring. Um, so here's the uh, here's the new button. You can hear it makes a decent clicking noise. So I just wired up the connectors to this, and uh, I'm just going to hot glue it in place. Okay, so remember this little board that didn't quite provide enough power. I think it was maybe an amp at five volts, although it claimed to be a couple of amps. Uh, obviously the battery's been fully recharged. I bought myself uh, a new one from uh, Gadget Power, uh, cost me $3.99. And this is a four amp 32 watt uh, DC to DC step up boost converter. Okay, volts going in, 4.2 volts. Volts coming out. 25 volts. Glad I didn't wire that up. I uh, need to find a small screwdriver to adjust that potentiometer there. Awesome. So, so now we can see that the, uh, the little uh, lightning bolt has gone from the corner and um, everything is back where it should be. So super cool and we've also installed a couple of push buttons on the top here one is slightly more clicky than the other one but the other one works <laughs> so uh, and then we've got to replace all of these bad boys here with uh, with those so right get on and do some work I suppose cool okay so remember the uh, the rubber pads that uh, I did have wired in under here. Uh, that's gone now. And now we've got this. And much more positive. Okay, and uh, here is the audio amp PCB. So we've got to wire this in. Uh, maybe we'll shove it about there and uh, we need to wire it into the speakers and the uh, the sound output from this is here so I have to run some cables under here and run some cables around to the speakers and run power supply to it but that shouldn't take too long at least then we'll have some uh, we'll have some audio which will be awesome Okay, great news, audio's working. It's a bit loud at the moment, actually. Yeah, this is working a treat. Oops. Just powered down. <laughs> Why? Uh, okay, that's a bit interesting. Okay, I've been having some uh, some serious issues trying to understand why this uh, iPad battery hasn't been able to power um, the the system, and uh, and I think I've uh, I think I've finally found it. I went ahead and I stripped out this iPad battery, and yes, uh, they have a protection the circuit board. Uh, so there's two lithium ion cells here as you can see one here one here and then at the top tying all of this together is a protection board and what looks like two fuses 
So um, with a little bit of luck, I don't know if they're thermal fuses or if they're um, uh, 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 current fuses or if they're resettable or what, I don't know. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the two lithium ion cells from this and um, obviously check their polarity with the meter and then go ahead and wire them in without their protection circuit. Ooh, very dubious. I'll tell you what, there's a few things sent to try us today. Um, so the other thing is, uh, just make sure that's off, yeah. The other thing is um, is the audio amp board. Apparently this audio amp board has developed a fault and it's uh, shorting and getting, and the chip is shorting it or something's happening internally, getting really hot. Um, good news, this one seems to be working okay. So I had a few spares. So uh, I guess I'll just be going ahead and swapping that out. Um, and con I disconnected the speakers, I disconnected all of the audio, audio uh, drives and everything to try and track the fault, but um, yeah, there's definitely an issue with that board, so it's going in the bin. Ah, did I show you my new battery wiring? Probably not, it looks a bit messy at the moment. But ultimately, uh, so there's two of these two bad boys with all the protection circuitry now chopped out of them. There's bits of it all over the place. And uh, we've wired it in directly. So that's the charge and battery management charge circuit there. And uh, we've wired these in directly now. So um, hopefully we shouldn't have any issues with power moaning later on. Wow. Haha, <laughs> I'm going to enjoy this. Oops, hold on. <laughs> Destroyed. 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 Okay. Cool. Oops. Yeah, let's not pull all the cables off there, Howard. Uh, cool. Right. Let's rewire this off and get some new buttons. And here we are again, working late into the night, making little buttons. Uh, out of the uh, bullet shells that we're now fitting into a little board, which then goes into the machine. Who's playing the games console in bed? Yes, it's Mrs. Dubious. <laughs> mm -hmm. 